We planted the food plot a few weeks back at our 9 and 10 News headquarters to set it up for this fall. As Tom shows us, we've had enough rain at the right times to make a difference. Good evening, everyone. We're back here at the food plot. Justin, lush green, looking fantastic. I mean, I see a couple ferns, but what do you think? Yeah, overall, this is this is what we this is what we shoot for. I mean, as hunters, this is what we want. I mean, look how thick and lush it is. I mean, um, it's rich. I yeah. mean, nice and you can green, smell it, right? Yeah, you can, you can smell, smell I mean, it. That, that brassicas are really popping now. So, um, as you can see, maybe in the distance, a little bit behind us, we've got a, a couple ferns yet. You know, all that means is our pH is just a little off yet. Yep. So we can bring that, we can know that for next year. I wouldn't touch it this year. It's blowing up, it's doing its thing, mm -hmm. but you're only talking a few ferns. So we can bring in more lime next year on that back side, bring that up. But as far as this front side, I mean, it's so important in Northern Michigan to pick the right fertility. Right. You know, because we start with sandy soils. Yeah, right? we know, and we had a smaller one. We made it bigger this year. and how much we made it bigger it's almost all the same looks fantastic anytime you extend a new food plot there's always weed competition and stuff and we didn't use any chemical sprays out here right this so is all done the way we did it with the food plot dew and the lime and just making sure we address with good seeds so um this is a triple threat we have at the store there and uh really it really is going to pop so why i plant this we usually plant it in the middle of july the first of august right and i use a brassica like you know like a lettuce right we like the lettuce younger tender and same thing with the deer the deer like these brassicas when they're younger and tender so when it comes into October for bow hunting, yep. the frost will hit at the night and it'll turn these, these leaves into more sugars and the deer will really come in and hit this fly we're Gotcha, hunting. okay. So we can really overcome that no baiting thing, but we've got to put them in now. All right, what's the next step then? I mean, we're out here in the field. What can we do to make this a little bit better? So if we're seeing some yellowing, um, some new food plots, um, I would really come in with on a brassica with the Alpha Blaster. Okay. Okay, and that's just going to give it a, a nitrogen, a phosphorus, and a potassium kick. There's um, kelp in here. There's liquid carbons in here. So that's uh, one way to really help grow and maximize our food plots. Right. If you're more into the, the the corns, if you put corn in early and you need to feed it with a higher nitrogen, mm -hmm. then the Forage Blaster is really what you need. Okay, but. On ours right here, would you put anything into it? Yeah, I would spray it. You know, I would just give it a little shot, you know, it's because I know the soils we're working with and uh, I want to, as a hunter, we always want to maximize it to the fullest. Right, so of I course give, we do. I would <laughs> give it a little shot just going into the fall, give it one, you know, a nice feeding and then uh, be ready for October 1st. All right, terrific. And of course, next week we're talking about the, the garden, the lawn, and things looking great. And we know this is looking great. I uh, can't wait to, you know, finish out the garden and complete the whole season, right? Yep. Yeah, that's coming up next week. Stay tuned and of course, Keep an eye on the web. We'll be giving more details about how this is growing throughout the fall season and, of course, hoping to check out the deer that check this out, too.